Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to modify the power cable for the new 16 gig or possibly larger hyperdisk if you currently have one of these. So if you currently have in your embedded node one of these um, transcend style um, flash drives, you'll notice that um, the power connector, so this is the cable that you'll likely have inside your node. Uh, since there's only one IDE connection and uh, the IDE connection plugs into the IRLP board, uh, you need to have sort of like a Y cable like this in order for it to work. Um, the hyperdisk comes with just a single one like this, so if you can get your own Y cable and plug it in, then this will work, work fine. Um, but you can also notice that uh, these connectors, you know, they look the same. However, if you notice, the polarity is different. So in order to use, um, so if, if you're removing a transcend module and replacing it with a hyperdisk module, and you want to use the same power cable, what you have to do is swap these two pins. So in order to do that, you need like a small jeweler style flathead screwdriver. You need to sort of, there's a, these white tabs on the back. If you pry up on them and then pull the cable out, gotta get better at this. Just pry up on this little tab here. See how I put the screwdriver underneath it? and then pull the wire out. So there's the red wire out. And then pry up on the tab. Pull the black one out as well. Okay, so now you need to put the black one in the position the red one was in. And then put the red one in the position that the black one was in. Kind of then just push down on those tabs real quick. It'll lock them in place. And there you go. That's all that's required. Now it's very important, obviously, that you do this and that it's done correctly. Because if it's not done correctly, you will fry your new disk, or if you try to plug it again into the older Transcend ones, it will cause them to smoke as well. So, very important. But once you do the polarity change, it will look like this. So as you plug it in to the Hyperdisk module, the red wire will be on the right, the black wire on the left. So it's very important again that you do not put the polarity in correct. So that's what it will look like. Any questions, please ask before plugging it in. Thank you.